In today's video, I'll be giving you guys seven advanced editing tips within the CapCut video editing app. I'll be showing you guys things like how to do reaction videos using the picture in picture tool, how to add a subscribe button onto your videos, how also to add your social media handles onto the screen so people can see where you're at. I'll even be showing some color grading and how to do some cinematic effects within this editor. So if that sounds interesting, be sure to watch this video through till the end. And if you already know any of these tips or tricks, the timestamps are down in the description so you can skip ahead to the next tip. Now, without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. Editing tip number one, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do picture in picture, which actually should be called video in video because it allows you to place videos over the top of other videos. For example, if you have a reaction channel or maybe a gaming channel and you wanna have that little screen in the corner where it shows you gaming, uh, this is how you'll do that. So here I am in CapCut. Um, I'm actually on my iPad for this, so that way I can have a mouse hooked up. But what we're going to do is go into overlay, add overlay, and then we can go and select whatever videos we want. So I'm just going to go to my recents and we're just going to click on this random video of me and click add. So there we go. That video is over the top of our other video. You can actually move it around on the screen. You can shrink it with your fingers. So let's just shrink it like that. I could put it in the corner right here. And there we go, we have that reaction gaming type video. Um, and you also have a whole bunch of different settings down here. You can just still the filters, etc., edit it. If you want to crop it, you can do that as well. All those effects are right there. Advanced editing tip number two, I'm going to show you how to use keyframes. So you'll notice over by the back button here, there is this button here with these like diamond shaped things that is actually the keyframe button and basically how keyframes work is a keyframe is basically the ability to move text or a video or a photo or any kind of effect from one point to another point that's basically the simplest way to explain it but let me demonstrate here so what we're going to do is we'll scroll to the beginning of this video and I'm going to click the keyframe button and as you'll notice, if you look down here, there is a, let me zoom in actually. There is a pink diamond right here, as you can see, it's kind of buried there, but there is a pink diamond, that is a keyframe. So now what we can do, if we scroll ahead, let's say right here, and we'll place another keyframe. And then what we'll do is we'll take this video and we'll put it in the other corner over here. Now what that's going to do is because we place two keyframes, it's going to move from one point to the other point. So when I scroll back, you'll notice the video actually moves from one side to the other side. So if I actually click play here, it slides across the screen. And what's really cool is you can do this to photos. So you can have a photo go from off the screen slide on screen and then slide back off using keyframes. You can apply keyframes to text. Um, so there's a lot of cool things you can do using keyframes. Um, this is just a really simple example. It's not very realistic example, but that is how you use the keyframe option. Editing tip number three, we're gonna talk about green screens. Also talking about adding that subscribe button onto your videos. Uh, so if you actually go onto YouTube, there's a whole bunch of green screen effects that you could use within your videos. So what I actually did, um, I actually recorded a screen screen video with my iPad. I used the built-in screen recorder, just recorded the YouTube video. As you can see, I stopped the screen recording there. And so what I'm going to do is import this screen recording into my timeline. And like I said, you could probably do this for a lot of other green screen effects that are available on YouTube. Just record your screen. Oh, so what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to edit this. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit with my fingers. And I don't want to show all my settings here. So I'm going to trim the video up until right there. And I can actually grab this and I'm going to move it. 
over here. There we go. And I'm also going to trim the end because I don't want them to see my settings at the end. So we'll trim to about right there. What I'm also going to do is go over to the crop area. So I'm going to click edit, crop. And then what I'm going to do is choose 16 by 9 because 16 by 9 is the YouTube format. And I'm also going to do zoom in a little bit because I want to make sure there is nothing but green screen on the screens. There we go. The <laughs> black bars are gone. So now it's just the green screen there. Um, I'm, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the chroma key. Click on that. Now it says color picker. So I'm going to grab this wheel and we are going to move it over to right where the green screen is. Let go. And we are going to click intensity, increase the intensity, and that is going to remove the green screen to a degree. So we want to remove it all the way. So we're going to do 100%. There we go. Click the check mark. And now we've got that subscribe button. So what I'm going to do is reposition it here real quick, shrink it down a bit, put it down below right there. So let's click play and see the subscribe button come onto the screen here. There we go. We got the click and it goes off. Awesome. And that's exactly what we wanted to do with the green screen effect. Now for the next editing tip, let's talk about how to add your social media logo uh, or your social media handle onto your screen using this editor. So what I like to do is, what I do is I go over to Chrome and whatever social media uh, handle I'm trying to show, I'll look up the PNG file for it. So for this example, I just went to Google search, type in Instagram PNG, and then it's gonna pull up these photos. Now, you'll notice some of these have those white and gray squares as the background. So if I click on this photo here, you'll notice it has all those white and gray squares behind it. Um, that is what we call a PNG photo, which means it's a transparent background. Now, you do have to be careful because some of the images uh, out there on the internet are actually JPEGs with the white and gray squares. You need to make sure it's a PNG file. So sometimes... You may just have to download a few different photos to find a real PNG photo. Uh, you also want to make sure you're on Chrome, the web browser. Uh, what I've found is Chrome actually saves it as a PNG and not as a JPEG. So what I'm just going to do is hold down my finger. I'm going to click Save Image. And then we're going to head over to the video editor here, here real quick. And then what we're going to do is add an overlay. I'm going to go to Photos. Click on Instagram. Yep. Click Add. And as you can see, it doesn't have a background. I'm going to shrink that down with my hand. There we go. It's a decent size. Put it in the corner here for now. And then what we're going to do is we are going to add text. So I'm going to click Add Text. There we go. I'm going to type in my text for my Instagram handle. All right, there we go. I have my text added. And then what I'm going to do is scroll down and put it right next to my Instagram handle. Uh, I may actually change the size of this real quick, make it a little smaller. And then I'm going to go to Style, and I'm going to change the font here and make it look a little bit better. Now, I like this font called Anton, and I'm also going to do is space it out a little, maybe like that. I'm going to add some shadow. There we go. I like that. Check. Put it right there. And there we go. Now we have my Instagram on here. Now you could also take this a step further and add transitions to both of them. So instead of it just appearing, what you can actually do then is when it slides on, they both slide up at the same time and onto screen. You could actually go in and in both of those, add transitions, and that'll add a more professional look. Tip number five, let's talk about color grading a bit. So you can actually color grade within this app. All you have to do is click on the video. And the first part we can go to is filters. So there's a lot of built-in filters within the CapCut app. So we can click on a few of these, just see what looks nice. I'm actually kind of digging this nature one. And I'm actually not going to do full blast. Well, maybe I will. I kind of like all those dandelions lighting up in the background. So we'll do full blast on this filter of nature. Uh, and we're just going to click the check mark. And then what I'm also going to go do is click on adjust. 
which will also bring up all these other settings that we can tweak to get a very nice look. So uh, there's no particular like rules per se when I believe when it comes to color grading because it's all style. It's all about what you like. Uh, for me, I like things with a little bit less contrast. That's just how I feel. Uh, sometimes I like to add saturation, uh, especially when it's like flowers and stuff. Uh, so we'll add a little more saturation. You can also adjust the highlights and the shadows. Uh, we won't mess with that one. Don't need that one. The color temperature, you can make it warmer or you can give it a colder look. Uh, for this, we're going to do a bit of a warmer look because it's kind of like a summer day. Maybe we'll add some fade there like that, which just is kind of like that uh, fadey stuff. So we're going to add a little bit of fade. Click check. And there we go. Now we have a really nice looking video using that filter and adjustment presets. Now the next tip, which also adds to this, is getting those cinematic black bars on your video. Just adding black bars anywhere makes anything look cinematic. So what we can actually do to achieve that, let's click back. Uh, what we can actually do is click on this video. Uh, we can go to edit. We can go to crop. And we can actually choose some of these presets here. So for example, this two by 35 by one. You notice how it kind of cropped in there. Uh, we can then adjust it. So I'm gonna adjust it, maybe zoom in a little bit just so my flowers lined up. Click the check mark. And as you notice, you got those black bars on there. And it's actually applied only to this video um, because our project is in a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So you wanna make sure that if you are doing this effect, you make sure your format is 16 by nine, but then you click on the video and change edit, crop, and then choose that to the two by 35 by one. And then that will give you a 16 by nine aspect ratio for YouTube, but then the clip itself is cropped in to two by 35 by one, thus giving it this cool cinematic black bars added to your video. Last but not least, tip number seven is to use the zoom in effect. So right here in my timeline, I've got this cool uh, time lapse that I created. So I've got the clouds moving, the cars are zooming by real fast. It's pretty cool. Uh, what I want to do is do a slow zoom in while the cars are flying by. I feel like that'd be really cool. So in order to do this, we're actually going to use our information we learned from keyframes. So what we can do then is we're going to click on this video, which click keyframe over here. So we've added a keyframe. We're going to scroll to the end of this time lapse right here. Select this again. We're going to click add another keyframe. And then we're just going to pinch with our fingers. I'm going to zoom in a bit, move it over right to where the cars are like so, that looks great. And now when we go to the beginning, we're gonna do a slow zoom in. I'm gonna click play here and show you. So now it's not only a time lapse, there's now a slow zoom in while this time lapse is happening, which just adds to the cinematic effect of this time lapse. Now, if you want to learn more about how to make videos on your smartphone, be sure to subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next videos. And maybe check out this video right here.